name is Samara Jilimo. Today I'm here with you to share a recipe on how to make homemade white bread. So make sure to watch till the end of the video to see the end results. First, on our ingredients is going to be 200 ml of warm water, 2 tablespoons of sugar, 65 ml of warm milk, 2 teaspoons of yeast, 35 grams of margarine, and 500 grams of all-purpose flour. First, we are going to need the margarine and the flour. We are going to add it in. After you have added that in, after we put it aside and work on the activating the yeast, we are going to add in the milk mixed in with the water, mixed in with the sugar, and the yeast. And we are going to mix it. You don't have to mix it for that long and you are just going to let it aside for it to activate. Now we are going to work on the flour. As you can see, you have added in the margarine and the flour. Make sure you have clean hands for this process. We are going to crumble up the margarine and the flour together. As you can see, the more I'm um, mixing it, the more the margarine disappears. It's all crumbling up. As you can see, you have to mix it till you can't see any of the margarine. And after you have mixed everything, you just rub your hands to get off all the excess margarine from your hands. Then you mix it for one more time and it's ready. After about five minutes, your yeast has already activated. You're just going to give it one more whisk. And our activated yeast is ready. Now we are just going to add it in to the dry ingredients and take our spoon. We are going to use our spatula to fold everything in. As you can see, the more I'm folding, the more it's turning into dough. The more the liquid disappears. After it has become this step, we don't need the spatula anymore. We are going to scoop out excess from the spatula, put the spatula aside and use our hands. And we are just going to knead it on the bowl. We are just going to fold everything in. After I folded everything, we are going to take some flour and dash it on the surface and add in our dough. Make sure to scoop out everything from the bowl. And now we need that. Make sure before kneading, as you can see, there is still some flat dough left my hands are going to take some flour and rub it like you are washing your hands but it's just dough and you are going to knead kneading is very important it also helps the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients combine We are just going to need it for 10 minutes. The more I'm needing
keeping it the softer it becomes. As you can see, everything from around me is disappearing and my hands are becoming clean. I just like to read it in. When it starts to form those like stretches, you know that your dough is almost ready and you have mixed in everything perfectly. We are just going to need it for five more minutes. And as you can see, it's already soft. If you want to know that your dough is ready, is when you poke it, it comes right up, like it's forming up. But since, as you can see, it is not forming, as you can see when I press it down, it's not coming up right away. That's when you know that it, the dough is not yet ready. As you can see, now when I place it down, it's coming right up. Yani it's coming up, yani it's coming upwards. Now that's when you know that your dough is ready. Now we are going to splash it with some flour on the surface and roll it like a ball once and add some more flour and take your bowl. Some people prefer putting it up here. It's okay, it's just your way. But for me, I like covering it. Now we are going to be patient and let it rise for about 30 minutes or till it has doubled the size. Now after letting it rise for about 30 minutes, it has doubled the size. As you can see, it has Reason a lot from its small size, as you can see, it has stuck to the pan. I'm just going to scoop out the excess. And knead it. 
the reason we are needing it for the second time is just to bring everything together. You don't have to need it for that long. It's just you need it to become a perfect shape. And now we are going to splash our flag just a little and roll it down. Here I have my pan. I'm just going to roll it out till it becomes the length of this pan. If you have a smaller pan than this, you, you can either choose to leave it like this or you can, if you have a bigger pan, you can just roll it out. As you can see, it's almost about the length of the pan. It's now the length of the pan. Just going to flatten it, and I've just buttered some margarine and adding on some parchment paper to my pan. And I'm going to take a bread dough and lay it down. After it's like that, you're going to press it like it should cover all the edges. Now after you have flattened it out on the pan, you may be wondering why you are, why is it so flat? This is the part that is also important. We are going to cover it with saran wrap. leave some space for the rising. Now after you have saran wrap the whole thing, this part is important because after the more, the longer that you leave it to rise the bigger it becomes and because we are letting it rise, rise again on the pan is because when you put the bread in the oven it will not rise a lot it will only rise a little bit but it won't rise to that expectation of expecting a big bread now we are going to let it rise on a warm place for 30 more minutes after letting the bread rise for about 30 minutes, as you can see it has risen to the top from this height. As you can remember it was at this height, now it has risen to the top. This is what is important because when you put it in the oven, it won't rise any longer. So now we are going to put it in the oven. We are going to put it for 30 minutes for 180 degrees and we are going to let it cook.
and we are going to see it in 30 minutes. Now my bread is out of the oven, fresh and ready, ready to eat, but not yet since it's too hot. Before put it, putting it on the cooling rack, we have to soften the shell. Since the top part is still hard, we are going to take some margarine on a brush and just spread it around when the bread is still hot. The margarine actually soaks up into the bread and softens the top part. As you can see now it's soft, softer. After you have done that, we are going to take our cooling rack slowly. Since the tin is still hot, Peel off the parchment paper. And we flip our bread. And voila. Now we are going to let it cool completely till the middle. And we are going to let it about for 20 minutes. Now after 20 minutes of letting it cool, it's now ready and complete. And now we are just going to cut it to see how it looks. Using a sharp knife. As you can see, this is on the inside. It's soft, spongy. As you can see, this is the outside, and as you can see when I tear it, soft. And now we are going to taste it. This is good for breakfast, for snack, or if you want to enjoy with some tea. So I hope you guys share this recipe at home with your family and friends. So make sure to like, subscribe and turn on those post notifications to see more videos. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.